All right, if you've been following on our blog, you probably read the series, So You Think You Want a Pool, Huh? And So You Think You Want to Have a Pool, Huh? Number two. If you didn't take our advice and you have a pool, you might also have the same problem we have, heating the dang thing. We are trying something new. We picked up 400 feet of one half inch poly tubing. And this is just something you can pick up at any of the big box stores. This is like $12 a roll for 100 feet. We're gonna basically lay it out like this, pipe water through it, and hope it heats up. So we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so this is our solar heater for the pool. Um, this is one coil. It's 200 feet of this piping I just showed you. It's as simple as it looks. We just coiled it up. Um, there's a little thing that connects it, but it's really an overcast day today, and this is already warm. It's warm to the touch. I bet it's 80 to 90 degrees. So I think uh, when we get this going, it's gonna really pick up a lot of heat in the sun. So this is our proof of concept. Uh, very little sun right now. We just got a basic uh, submersible pump hooked up. To create a little more friction and slow the flow down, we put a T in here. There's 200 feet of pipe there, 200 feet of pipe there. They meet at that T, come out of this old junky hose. And we're coming out just a trickle. But this water right here is a good 20 degrees warmer than the pool. And you can see, it's not that sunny of a day. So we'll get a thermometer out and really show you what it can do later. Okay, we ran back to the store and grabbed another uh, couple hoses. So we have, each of those coils is 200 feet of hose. So it's one, two, three, four coils. It's 800 feet of uh, gardening hose. And it's just, it's just this stuff you get at the store. Super cheap, nothing to it. Just absorbs the heat, transfers it to the water. We were getting... 76. What we got. 76 degree water coming out of the system and it was 68 degrees inside and uh, you can see the flow there so that's quite a bit of heat that we're gaining so when the water was flowing well with the pump you know we get a good good uh, good volume that goes through here well two of the coils we had a three and a half degree increase in the heat uh, now that we have four coils, it's a seven degree. Um, so that makes sense to me. And, uh, you know, seven degree, you keep that pumping all day for a couple days, you're going to have a warm pool. Here we've got our solar heater going, and we're trying to figure out what energy we're actually picking up. So we have to figure out what the flow is and the temperature rise, then we know how many uh, joules of energy we gain. So this is a five gallon bucket, and I'm going to time it. We're gonna see how long it takes to fill up the bucket. We're gonna start our stopwatch. Here we go. All right, and we just filled up five gallons at one minute and 26 seconds. Okay, we're measuring the pool water at 66.7 degrees. And the water coming out of our pipe is 71.4. Earlier this morning, we looked at the temperature rise, and we had about a three and a half degree gain. Um, that was before the patio heat up. It's before the sun was really out. Now it's a little later in the day. We're all, almost to solar noon. Uh, the sun's almost straight above us here. We're going to show you what we uh, we can do this time. Air temperature is 77 degrees. I'm going to drop the uh, thermometer down here where we're pulling the water out. We're at 67 and a half in the pool and coming out of our system here our water is 